Okay guys, just a little thing. Just something that, this has got nothing to do with with Yogi Lock or Channel Lock or anything. This is just for you guys that maybe have conventional golf swing but have a timing issue. This is three iron here. <clears throat> guys, when I first started playing golf, uh, which is back in the early 70s, uh, Gary Player had been on the scene and I saw some film of him back then. And the thing that really, that I really noticed in his golf swing was the forward press. Gary was here and he go, get away. And there were a couple of great Australian players, pros from the, the, the 50s and 60s that used to do that as well. And they were great ball strikers. Amazing ball strikers. And what, so for guys that have problem with, with timing the ball, advantage of a forward press, guys, yeah, and, and player did it pretty quick. Player got here and went, and went away. But there are players, older players, older pros, Australian pros that actually had a lot of, you know, forward press with the hands and the knee. But what it does, guys, is it gives you an automatic response mechanism for the backswing to get everything going away together. If you get here and you just set up normally here, sometimes it's really hard. You think, okay, what's going to go away? My hands, my shoulders, my hips, whatever. But when you have a forward press in the system, it takes all that away. What it does is it, it creates a coordinated total response of all body components. Because when you do that little forward press, like, like that, it goes into action, reaction. I'll show you. I used to do it when I first started playing. And it was just fantastic. This is three iron, guys. This is not so much yogi lock, but it's just for anybody that has a timing problem. So we get in here. Just going to get in here. We're just going to forward press. Now that's just laser. Absolute laser. Out of <laughs> really deep, wet, thick grass. Awful. So I'll try and do this one a bit smoother. It's just an automatic response system for me. I promise you guys, once you do it, there's no backswing thought, there's no downswing thought. It's just the body hopping into a response mode. That, that's all it is. It's, it's hopping into a response mode. That's just a beautiful shot. There's a tree up here that I'm aiming at and that first one bounced and hit the, <laughs> it's about that wide, the, the trunk, hit the trunk and that one just went past the trunk on the right, just but almost hit it again. And guys, you, you, the golf swing becomes a part of the result of the forward press. So that's going to hit it again. It didn't, but it went pretty close. But see how clean the hit is, guys. It's that 
wet grass. And I'll try and make the forward press uh, more pronounced and I should get a more pronounced uh, backswing. Gotta tell you guys, that feels really nice. And what it does, <laughs> just takes all the mental gymnastics out of the goal swing. You have to worry about the back swing. Once you've done the forward press, everything else is on autopilot. Forget everything else. Forget it. They're strong shots. It just takes all the mental gymnastics out, guys. Just the only thing you think about is the forward press. Everything else will respond to the forward press. Now that's crazy how strong that was. And it's just automatic, guys. It's just, I'm not thinking about it. Once, once I've done the forward press, the golf swing's over. I'm just hanging on to the golf club. Just hanging on. Does that look like an old guy swing? You're probably saying, yeah, it doesn't feel like it, it feels very free. Come on, Chase, big forward press. I can't hit it better than that. Never hit it better than that. So, guys, just for a standard golf swing, if you're having a problem with timing, this is what I call the timing fixer upper. It's just a, just a forward press, and the more, the more uh, committed you are, and the more vigorous the forward press is, the better you hit it. <laughs> and the three irons. You just get no variation in the ball flight. And hitting out a wet, uh, wet long grass, guys, with a three iron. <laughs> well, I'll see if I can do a big forward press, get a plenty of length in the backswing, and really put some heat on it. That just felt like there was so much energy in the club. I wasn't ready for that. Still went good, but it just went, just went a bit lower. Come on. I mean, they're all around the base of that tree up there. It's dead into the wind. Wow. So that's going way by the tree. Way by the tree. Feels good, guys. I wonder if I can have a forward press with Yogi Lock. This will be interesting. I wonder if I can have a forward press with Yogi Lock. That'll be very interesting. Observe. This will be interesting. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Now that's... See, when you go into the forward press, you've then got to get... You've got to get... Then, then got to get the negative load going. But I did it. That was just... That was the longest shot by miles. That was... That was... 
Yogi lock with a forward press. Just a perfect ultra. Nice shot. Guys, there's more than one way. As my old Irish grandmother used to say, more one way to skin a cat than choking it with a pound of butter. No idea what it meant, but clearly there are more than one way to skin a cat. Not the devil want to skin a cat, but you know what the old saying says. Every one of those shots is perfect. Perfect. I'll hit one on this angle. Sort of back past the camera. See how it gets you out of the way, guys. really gets you through the ball because the, the club is travelling so so hard. Wow. Okay guys, just just a couple of little other things. Now Forward press with a little pitch shot. Fantastic little timer because it gets the hands in a really strong position for the shot. If you're going to hit a little shot sort of towards that post there, get in here and it's just a little, little forward press. So it just hits the ball really low with a lot of spin on it. Which is really hard to do out of <laughs> wet grass. See, they're all basically the same type of shot. So it's that beautiful crisp little contact that you get. Because the hands are always in that strong position. And again, when the hands are forward, like that at impact, invariably the blade's a little bit open, so you just won't pull um, the ball. You won't do that. Okay guys, that's just a forward press. With a pitch shot, it's just, and the handle was, because when we forward press, we go to there, and then all we're doing, we're holding that angle. That's all it is. We've already preset that angle for a conventional pitch. It's not, it's not Yogi where he's throwing it away. It's just, we've set the angle here. We're just gonna hold the angle once, go to forward press, and we just hold that angle. Forward press. And just hold that angle. It's very easy to hold that angle after you've done the forward press. Because you've already pre preconditioned the, the impact position by 
by doing that, that's where we want to be, with that little pitch shot. See how crisp that is? Just beautiful little crisp shot. Guys, just another little thing for anybody who's having trouble with, uh, with timing. Okay, we'll hit a driver with a uh, with a forward press. Hang on, got to get a tee. Got to get a tee, Johnny. Oh, sorry, guys. Hit a driver with a forward press. Oh, here we go. Driver with a forward press. This is not Yogi Lock, but this is just people having timing problems. Conventional ball position. Now that tree that I was aiming at with the three iron, I mean that's just flown it over the top and just gone on forever. Straight over the top of the tree. You know you're gonna make good contact guys, it's just, you just do. Cause you're rebounding off that, off that forward press. It's easy. So easy. That's dead into the wing, guys, and that's just that's just up there. See how easy it is? No complication, none. You don't get any miss hits. No miss hits. I mean, that really is long. And what's amazing is that there's only one aspect of the golf swing, it's the forward press. Everything else is on autopilot. Everything. I mean, everything else is on automatic pilot. It's just a response to the forward press. Last shot. Guys, I kid you not, they are just bowling alley stuff. Okay guys, just another aspect, if you're having trouble with timing, just a little forward press. Have a look at Gary Plyer. Yeah, they were great shots, weren't they? Oh, were they ever? <laughs>